أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم everyone I hope you've had a good fast today if you're fasting or if you tried the fast and I hope you had a good experience and inshallah all of you are preparing and helping your moms and dads for iftar tonight but today we get to talk about a home we talk, get to talk about the house of an animal I'll give you a hint this is the animal that we've been talking about or this is the name of the surah that we've been talking about so far this whole month any ideas? Shall we give you another hint? It's got eight legs. Yes, it's a spider. We're talking about the home of uh, the Ankabud. We're talking about the home of the spider. The home of the spider. Have you ever seen it? I've got one just outside the window. The home of the spider is called a spider's web. Who makes a spider's web? The spider makes a spider's web. Exactly, the spider makes a spider's web. When he's making his web, do you think he thinks that it's a strong home or a weak home? He thinks it's a strong home. But what about us? When we walk up to it and we don't want it there, what can we do? We just swat it away and it goes away. It's super flimsy. It's super duper weak. But today, what you'll need, and this is something that you might need mum and dad to help you with, is you're going to need like a cardboard, something thicker, something heavier, either cardstock or cardboard, that's fine, some yarn. And what you'll need mum and dad to help you do is a whole bunch just around it, and you're going to string it through. So I've done most of my stringing, um, but for easy, to make it easy, I've just put a little bit of tape at the end and I'm going to show you one last stringing and you're just going to make a web design on it and see look it's quite flimsy so I've used some yarn and the cardboard made the holes and I've made my spider's web but what you and I are going to make today is a spider together we're using some paint and our fingers and another small piece of cardboard, okay? So I'm going to set my um, spider's web on the side. I have my paper towel just in case I make a mess. And I'm going to put a little bit of paint on the front of four fingers. So I can take both my hands and just rub it. So I've got some black paint on four of my fingers you can use any paint any colored paint you can make your spider a little bit more um pretty decorative more colors on it however you want so i'm going to take my four fingers and those are my four fingers with the black paint and i'm just going to pat it on one side there we go so i've got four remember we said that the spider has eight legs so there's the four legs and then there's my eight-legged spider. Once this is dry, I can go in and put some paper, some uh, eyes on it. Or if I've got those um, the Google uh, the googly eyes, the ones that move around, I can add those on. But what you then need to do is just wipe up your hands, and then take your scissors and cut around my new spider. And once I've cut around it, I get to stick it on top of the web. So this is the spider that's living in this web. I'm going to name my spider Ankabut. You can name your spider wherever you want. But what we need to remember is that we shouldn't be like the spider who takes pride in what he has made and who thinks that he's the strongest and who thinks that he, nothing's going to happen to his home because Allah gives us and Allah can take from us. So the example of the spider is what he's given to us in the Holy Quran to remind us that what we make is weak and what we make is frail and he is the most strong and he's the one that gives us everything so there's my spider and it's going to i need to stick it in my web kind of like that and there we have it we've got our spider in our spider's web i hope you've enjoyed today's craft until i will see you again soon good afternoon i've got to go and wash my hands Good afternoon.